So out here on a job today in Ashbury, um, basically MBN won't do the leading cable because it's on a steel private pole. So basically um, it's their oh and s issues, they don't climb them. So what we do is we'll put a, uh, a pole hook and stuff on it and then we'll string that over to their pole over here and then we're going to leave enough here for the contractor the builder, they haven't put a conduit in yet, but they're going to run a conduit from here over to the, uh, the box on the side of the house. Now this pole, I'm supposed to put my ladder on, looks a little bit fucking dodgy. So what we do, get a hammer, let me give it a bit of a hit, just to see how, so it still seems relatively uh, solid. Yeah, it's pretty solid. It's not fucking jiggling around too much. It looks pretty bad. But there's no markings on it to say don't climb. It's been chopped down or anything. Right, so it looks relatively okay as far as strength. Right, so I just like to do that before I climb these old poles. So with these, uh, doing the installation. So this is for HFC. Right now I've got... Uh, I had to go and try and find these because they're really complicated to come by. No wholesaler knows where they are. I've got one supplier who can find uh, who's still got them stocked from back in Foxtel days and the ambient installation days. So these are your pole hooks here. Basically they'll use this stainless steel um, strapping. And then we use these ratchets here for the stainless steel. Let's stop this up. So we use these things here to put the strapping through. As you can see on the hooks, they've got the uh, holes there where the strapping goes through. And then you've got your sashes, which goes on the end of the cable. And then you've got the crows in here, which go through the, uh, the sashes to um, put onto the end of the hooks. All right, so this is what we're gonna have to do today. So I made sure I grabbed a bunch of them because when I was trying to find these from the wholesalers, nobody could find them. So I wrote all the part numbers down and everything. So it took me like three days to try and get these. Um, but I finally got them and the cable as well because it's hard to find now. So I managed to get my hands on some uh, the HFC cable as well, the aerial, because we've run out. Been, had a few of these and I had a massive stock of these but I'm out of everything so I had to re restock the whole uh, restock the van so I found the old uh, how to fit these uh, these guys here All right, so it sort of shows you here I'll show you with the um, actually how it's done but this is the instructions it's one I've had sitting in the truck here for ages so this is what we've got so I went over to the pole and then I've chopped off the length that I need. Right, so there's a little bit of slack on it which I'll chop off with my uh, trusty tin snips once that's done. So I'll assemble this first and then we'll put the hook on the pole. Um, and it's got to be 600 below the power. So I'll get a tape measure, I'll go up the pole now and I'll make a little mark where a 600 below the power is. Okay, so there's my mark, 600 below. And there's a the power there. Right, so that's where we'll put our hook, right there. Okay, so I'll thread my strap through the hook, right? And then I've put the end on in preparation, right? So all it is, it just feeds in through the back here, comes out this first, first slot here, and then you feed it back in on this slot. Now I like just as an added precaution, I just like to bend that around. And then this part here actually goes on the pole. And this, this part sits outside. Right, and then you've got your ratchet here where you just stick a screwdriver in and then just ratchet it up. All right, so I like to get all that prepared before I actually got the pole so it makes life pretty easy. So let's go put it on. All 
right, so I've done that now and ratcheted that up so that's really tight here now. So you want to do it as tight as you can and you want the hook to face towards the pole. Now as you can see there's a bunch of uh, trees and stuff here. I'm going to try and break some of these down um, so I've got a clear path to the pole we're going to. Right, so I've got my new cable drum and the cable roller. There we go. So let's find the end of this sucker. Today, getting a bit of uh, this type of work. All right, so yeah, now give a shout out to Middies um, over in Moorbank there, um, in Sydney, because they're the ones that really helped me out get this uh, gear. Um, they did a bit of ringing around and um, they found it for me. Um, a lot of other wholesalers were just like, oh, too hard, but they stock a lot of this com stuff. So a shout out to Dave from Middies. Now, with your HFC cable here. So you can see you've got your main HFC, your RJ6 quad shielded. Then you've got this strand that sits here on the side. So that we're going, that's what we put on the sashes and lash that to that. And that will take the tension when it is run out from pole to pole. So the tension's not actually gonna be on the HFC cable. The tension will be on this tension cable. Right. So now we'll uh, go up the pole and uh, get this side done. Okay, so now I've put the good o's on the sashes there. All right, so they're in, so that's what will go feed through the hook, this part here, all right? So now we'll go stick our end on, and then we'll go put the piece on the street pole first. So with this here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and actually get it to the pole, but then leave enough, and then we're gonna feed it down and get it into this pit ready, because, uh, I found that the more you do to make uh, MBN contractors' jobs easier, the easier thing it goes for the customer. So we'll do the hard work for them and they just have to do the termination. Right, so you can see here that the MBN guys, they haven't even put the good hose on. They've just got it going straight around, so we're actually going to do a better job than them. Right, no good hose on that leading cable either. So what I like to do, is, uh, I've got it measured off down to the ground, enough to get into the pit. All right, and then I will just get it here, and I'll bring my cable over, and I'll put like a little bend in it, right? So I know the length, so then I can drop that down, and then I can get down, and then I can actually uh, do all that work on the ground. All right, so there's my bend there, all right? And then this piece of length here will be the one that will be fed down the pipe and into this pit. So the first thing I want to do is separate the actual RG6 quad shield from the um, internal tension wire. We take it pretty much all the way back to where I've got that bend. Right. Okay, so I've chopped off the excess and I've just got like enough here to be able to do the lashing. Right, so I'll do that now. All right, that's my lashing done. Okay, so now the tension will actually be on that tension wire. So now I'll go up and hook this over the hook and then I will get a rodder and feed it down and get it into this pit. Okay, so I've fed that in now and that has successfully popped out uh, on that conduit there. Right, so there's only one HFC cable on that one, so that's the one we're going to bring ours down. Okay, so now I want to strip the end back off this so I can actually hook it through the end of the rotter so I can pull it back down through the conduit into the pit. Okay, so now, now I've uh, stripped it back. You can see I've just got the uh, inner core copper part exposed and that's what we're going to thread through the end of the rotter um, to bring it down. Okay, that part's done now. So, got our uh, new HFC cable popping out of here so I'll just coil that up and ready for MBN to do their thing. So now with this end, do the same thing. We'll take it up, um, get it to where the hook is, put a bend on it, and then I can come back 
down and do everything from the ground safely. So it's it now, I've got that part hooked over, or lashing on. So now, when you're working out in the street, just make sure you want to clean up after yourself. Because uh, people complain about stuff very, very easily. So you just want to make sure you don't leave them anything to complain about. Right, so uh, clean work area. Let's throw that crap in the bin, except for the except for the sashing, obviously. So then on this end, what I've done is I've got my bend. So there's my bend there. So it's marked where it's going to go under the hook. Where the, te the tension's right. And then I've chopped it from here back. So I've got my lashing at this part. And then I'll put my um, sash on at this end. And then when I get up the pole, it'll be in the perfect position to uh, hook it on. So that way I do everything off the, off the ground. So I'm not up the pole trying to balance and do everything. And I can use you know, both feet and both hands. All right, so you can see where my bend was. And you can see where the grid is. All right, so right in that position there. So when I get up the pole and put it on, it'll be exactly perfect. All right, so she's hooked up. Now I'm gonna to have to tell the builder here they're gonna to have to trim those trees. I've chopped as much as well I can here, but it's not my job to get in there and chop those trees out, so not out to them. Right, so now I've basically just got to roll off enough so it can come to here. And then Spark is gonna put in the conduit, put the conduit up the pole, they're gonna do all that bit. So I'm just doing the bit MBN wouldn't touch. Right, and then that should be it. Hey guys, it's uh, Jason here from Securicom. So if you're in need of some internet help, um, whether that is uh, getting a fault fixed up like a bridge tap or you have some sort of an issue on your MBN service, or maybe you need to have some new cabling and sockets installed, um, we provide a range of services to help you out. There'll be some links underneath this video um, and you can click on those links and they'll take you through to our website where you can book my service. All right, thank you very much. Goodbye.